Dun 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 dun. Hello, I'm live. Oh no, he'll be able to hear me. Yeah. Hi. You are now part <laughs> of the stream. Wow. Hi guys, I'm only gonna be here for like not that long. Yep. <laughs> Let me get the Twitch thing and copy and paste to that linky. Um, it's to the Discord so people can go, wow, look at Gabriel Adams' streambow. Okay, channel. I don't Queef. think I can watch your stream and be on the Discord call at the same time. That's true. Or you could just mute the stream and then have the delayed audio. Okay, that's enough. Oh, you know. You do know. Okay, let me... Also put that on Twitter. I used to put it on my YouTube channel, but the uh, those don't really work. Nobody reads the the posts, so uh, yeah. What the heck is a gumshoe? It's uh, this it's a weird it's a really weird game because it's a platformer where you have to shoot your own character to make him jump. Ooh. It's super bizarre, but it's cool. It does sound creepy. Yeah. Whoa. Loud game volume. Hold on, let me see if I can make that a little quieter. Da -da -da, da -da -da, da -da -da. Volume mixer. Volume mixer. You get a little bit of mix and you add it to the mix. That's still loud as heck. What the heck? Oh, I'm, I, did, I lowered the wrong volume, that's why. Okay. Tricks are for trins. Okay. There we go. Yay. I'm actually thinking of maining ice climbers in Smash Bros. Because they're really fun to play as. Wow. Cool because of ice. Yeah. Uh, no, he just he just likes to play nice climbers, but he's like nine, so I restock him every time. <laughs> nice. You're dead, brother. 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 Oh, I died. Let me lower the volume just a tad more. Okay. Yeah, I did. Okay. Oh now it's quiet as heck. It's literally on one, but that's okay. Cause uh, everyone knows what ice climber looks like. If you don't know, I I mean what sounds like. It just sounds like dun 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 doo -doo 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 -doo, and it just repeats that over and over again, like way it too says, many times. Cleaver wakes up and he says, "Ah, hey, I just dreamed of madness. Where are you waiting for Tom? What the heck?" Yeah. I don't know what you're reading, but that sounds cool. I translated the Oh, oh. Yeah. Nice. There we go. Oh, okay. Let's do it again. Trying to land on the little clouds. Oh, okay. Yeah, I died just a little. Wow. That's why Quiba's voice is that, because it's fun. Yeah. Was the was the inspiration for Psycho Monkey's voice Strong Bad? No, I I didn't know about Strong Bad when I made Psycho Monkey. <laughs> I didn't know about anything Homestar Runner because everybody is like D guy is obviously designed after Homestar Runner and Psycho Monkey sounds like Strong Bad. I'm like, no, that's totally I pro I promise that's a coincidence, and they're like, it's gotta be. I'm like, dude, I like 
I only learned about Homestar Runner in the past year, so I'm like, yeah. I learned about it last year from my dad's girlfriend. Wow. Weird. She was just like, hey, get on the YouTube channel on the Wii and let's watch some funny videos. And I was like, oh, okay. I do like their fish, ar uh, fish, fish eye lens song. I just jumped yeah, off the cliff. <laughs> yeah. It's a classic. I'd, I'd like to remake that with the Quiva characters just to kind of embrace the um, Homestar Runner ripoffness of Quiva. <laughs> All the ladies and men's DJ. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that those are the lyrics. It's <laughs> oh man, Popo got killed. Is that the name Popo, or am I thinking of something else? For, what? For the ice climber, it's like Popo and Nana. Yes, Nana and Popo. Popo. <laughs> Woo! What a guy. Yes. Popo is fun. Mmm, Popo is fun. I, was, I watched E.T. today at the doctor's office in the waiting room. And then E.T. made the wind. Mmm, E.T. for home. <laughs> oh, the bird sneaked attacked me. Game over. E.T. needs a home loan. E.T. needs home loan. That'll be 520 bucks. That's pretty cheap, actually, for a loan. Mm -hmm. I don't know why it's Yoda, E.T. I guess um, George Lucas and Spielberg are friends, so that's cool. They are. They, they go out to lunch every day. They, yeah. To this day, they do, yeah. Oof! Okay. I, I jumped up, and then I immediately hit the jump. Oh, okay, let's reset that. I can't already have a life dead. It's weird that, like... A bunch of the early Nintendo games all had the exact same menu music. It was really weird. Like, I don't know if it's just for the sports games or if the, like if Nintendo was like, this is like the sports game song. Or if it was like, this is like the, the Nintendo theme song. I don't know what they were going with, but it was like really weird that it had like the same exact song for everything. Hello, I am a Nintendo executive and this is the sports music. <laughs> this is, yeah, this is sports song. I want you to use this for the music. My du my son wrote it. <laughs> but it's like it's a weird song because they don't use it anymore for anything. And they don't like reference it. Even though like every single NES game made by Nintendo for a million years had the exact same song. Listen to the funny sports music. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, I did the bonus stage. <gasps> I'm doing it. I almost just jumped off as soon as I said that. Ooh, ooh, 14 seconds. Just gotta, <gasps> yes, I caught the bird. Wow. Yeah, I did it. <laughs> Ice climber. I, I do like the idea of like old NES characters in Smash Bros. I think it's really fun. We need a, oh shoot, what was I gonna say? <laughs> Yeah, you have to, you have to, there's a little red hole on the screen and you have to aim at him in order to make him move. Could you imagine what history would be like if Smash Bros. Brawl used motion controls? Oh my god, no. And like every game, no. <laughs> oh man, that would be like, that, that literally would have like ruined the series because you know if Brawl used it, every other game would have used it afterwards. Because that would have been like, I guess people don't like Smash Bros. anymore for some reason. <laughs> That's the worst timeline that we could ever be living in. Yeah. We don't talk about it. I'm glad we're living in the weird one where Banjo-Kazooie gets in and not the one where every game is motion controls. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Nintendo. I was disappointed because I was watching the direct and I was just like, Oh man, they're going to reveal a new character. I wonder if they're going to do it at the beginning or the end. And so they did it at the, did the first one at the beginning. I was like, oh, well, I don't yeah. know who this person is. Yeah, yeah, me too. <laughs> and then at the end, 
was like, ooh. <laughs> yeah. It, yeah, when I saw that, I was like, oh, they're going to start off. And I was like, oh, Dragon Quest hero. I was like, guessing I'm going to have to wait another year to see who the who won, like, to see one that I actually care about. And I was like, oh, another one. Actually, when, when they started showing the other trailer, I thought, like, because every once in a while, there's, like, a mistake on, like, a live stream. And it's like, oh, man, funny mistake. And I was like, dude, am I witnessing them accidentally playing the K. Rule trailer twice? And I was like, oh, nope, it's different. And I was like, Banjo. <laughs> yeah. But do you know what the, the trailer for Dragon Quest Hero is actually the most viewed? Like the, it ha, It's the quickest trailer to ever hit a million views because the Japanese audience cares about it so much. So like they said, it was like, so because someone was talking about how in Japan, when a new Dragon Quest came, game comes out, a bunch of people will call in sick to work and the bosses know that it's because of dragon quest but they'll they're like fine with it they're like it's okay we all love dragon quest here in japan land but yeah so apparently it's like they basically get like a holiday an unofficial holiday for every time a dragon quest game comes out because they care about it so much so i'm glad that japan got their character and america got theirs so it's not like weird and unbalanced Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> but the good. I like the um Vinny Vine Sauce. He's like as soon as the puzzle piece goes on the screen, he's just like, Oh, here it is. <laughs> like he's like all excited. He's like really like 'cause he's he's kinda like me, like Yeah. Like if I whenever I see something really exciting live, I'm like really quiet because I don't want to miss anything. So I'm like, Oh, it's here, like it's happening. But if it's something I don't care about, I'm like, ah, okay, I'll start talking and stuff. So I'm like the opposite. When something exciting happens, I just like freeze up and just pay attention to the screen. That's why it's like for me, like doing a live reaction wouldn't be as exciting as Junkie Janker, but doing it a second time, then I'd freak out. I, uh, we were watching it, me and my cousin were watching it at the hospital. We were watching the live stream, but there was a delay because we had to pause it for like two minutes. Yeah. So. So we watched, we watched it, and as soon as I saw the puzzle piece, I was just like, "Dude!" Yeah, that was like I was watching with with my sister, at, uh, on on our TV, and then um, when the puzzle piece came on, I was freaking out. My sister was like, "What? What is that?" And I was like, "Oh man, like you need a." But like, luckily, she did know what Banjo Kazooie is because of John Tron. So I was like, "Okay, good," because I'm like. That's like the worst Smash reveal. If like at least like in her eyes, it would have been the worst if I had to explain who it is afterwards. So at least like she's like, oh, I know who that is. I'm like, okay, good. So I'm like, yeah. you're officially a cool kid because you know what Banjo Kazooie is. Mm -hmm. Can't wait to play Banjo Kazooie on the stream though. Oh, that'd be awesome. Uh. I have it on my Xbox. Yeah, I used to not like Xbox. I used to think that they were poopy, and I didn't like them. Xbox is all right. There, Microsoft is cool. I do prefer PlayStation, but they're all right. I prefer the PlayStation controller over the Xbox One controller. It's better. But yeah. Look at me. I'm the one with the Xbox One. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I I just like the PlayStation games better, like the Spyros and the Crash Bandicoots, because I'm like, because every in Spider Boy, yeah. Because every, um, what, should, what do you call it? Every Xbox exclusive is something that I'm like, eh, it's, it's alright. And then, like, now... the <laughs> Yeah, because before I was like, Cuphead, but now I'm like, it's not Xbox exclusive anymore. And then I was like, Halo could be alright, but I'm like, nope, and now it's coming to Steam. Or all the, yeah. the collection or whatever. So, that, so I'm like, there's pretty much no Xbox... Like, the only reason why I'd get an Xbox is just to play the games at, like, the highest graphical whatever but like the game but to me i'm like i'm not much of a guy that cares about graphics actually but at the same time i'm not really someone who's like had a lot of experience with really good graphics so i'm like maybe if i do ever play get an xbox and play with the graphics i'll be like dude i can never go back i have to play with these good graphics but right now i'm like yeah it's fine i don't care about graphics as much as i care about a constant consistent frame rate oh yeah that i agree with that for me, I'm trying to think. It depends on the type of game. So I'm going to use Minecraft, for example. Because Minecraft, 
uh yeah like i want to turn i'd turn down like my order of importance is first frame rate second render distance then like good look good, lo good looking graphics that's how i am with that but yeah Forty-five. <laughs> yeah, it's weird. The Bedrock version runs really well because it's meant for iPhone. Yeah, kind of sucks, but I do wish that they would just like make each version literally exactly the same, but yeah, that's so I don't because there's there's a bunch of little tiny things. I'm like that like. That would take two seconds of programming just to, like, make each version balanced, but they don't. Because I do get, like, yeah. like the whole mod thing. It's like you can't, like, the Java version's the best for mods. I feel like that should be, like, the reason Java exists. But there's just, like, little things, like, with the redstone, with the pistons. There's certain things that you can't do with the Bedrock versions, which it's, like, there's no reason why you shouldn't be able to do them. But, because there's, like, certain things, like, if you make a p piston extend... Like, I don't know. There's, there's, there's just, like, little things. I don't know. I can't explain them. There's, like, videos on, like, the differences. But just things that I'm like, they should just make them the same. I don't see why they don't do that. But, yeah. I don't, I don't know what it was, but they added something into the last update uh, for Bedrock, and it doesn't even do anything. It's just a block that does nothing. But it's supposed to have, like, a function, but that, I guess they just didn't program it or something? That's weird. What's the block called? I forgot what it's called. Oh, okay. Sorry. Time to click. Soccer. When, is this stream even working? I, I should probably check to see if I'm actually live or if I'm just sitting here playing games to my uh, by myself. Okay, so yeah, it's a smithing table. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, those, um, what they do is, if you set them up by a village, then a villager will turn into a blacksmith. But you can't use them for anything. So for you, they just sit there and do nothing. But for the... But yeah, yeah, that's that's for every version of the game. It's really weird. Yeah, yeah. But it's, I mean, I guess it's nice if you don't want to look around for a blacksmith if you want to actually play the game. Like, I mean, like, I mean, I don't know. It's hard to talk while I'm playing this game. But, yeah. It's like, it works for that. Yay, I got a goal. But, yeah. The, but, the, yeah, all the weird tables. There's some tables that are cool. Like, the, l l there's one to make a person, uh, whatever the ones that give the books are called. Um, come on, switch. There we go. One, two, switch. that they send me is just a discord invite link and i don't even know them yeah i know what you mean like i got one today and i said wait what and then they said it's a funny server i don't know if you remember me but we talked in 2007 <laughs> and then he just kind of died nice it's the best way to go out and that's the, the dis tennis club. tennis club that's a good name for a discord server Yes. Welcome to Tennis Club um, animations. Wow. Huh. Tennis I don't know who these people are. Why did they invite me? Wait, I think I might know that person. Ben SD, yeah, I know I know him. Yeah. That's the guy that I always confuse for another YouTuber that has like um half a million subscribers and so every time i see him like ben SD did this like liked your post or did something i'm like what then i'm like oh wait that's a different guy i don't know why i always confuse him i for i i even forget the name of the guy that i confuse him with but i always think that he's the one, he the one. <laughs> yes oh sucker 
I didn't ask to join. It sounds like it's like therapy or something. I never asked for this. <laughs> I have a role. I have one singular role, and it's a yellow, yellow, and it's, it's tennis. It's yellow. All lowercase, too. How come early Nintendo games have, like, fake seconds where they're not real? Like, that is not how an actual second is. It's, like, one millionth of a second. It's, like, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's, like, whoa, whoa. Like, it's counting down way too fast. Maybe it's an NES broken thing. Maybe the NES just sucks. Maybe the NES is the worst console ever made. It's huh. like, this is like, like Sega fan. It's like, you know, these seconds are way too fast. <laughs> Checkmate Sega. Like, we win. <laughs> like, or, yeah, it's like, uh. Sega does what Nintendo don't. Oh, boy. Oh, Se Sega has real seconds. All right, see you later. All right, let's try to get um someone funny here. Um at the Oh, the all-knowing sauce is not here. On my sister server. I and man uh want to voice chat and be in live stream question mark let's see if he says anything nobody's watching that's fine i don't need pff, viewers who needs viewers when you got bluers um who else could possibly be part of um oh yeah he's like he's tipped up now not the all-knowing sauce i forgot about that tipped up want voice Jail. Okay, tip top. There we go. Yeah, we are. I'm here playing NES soccer on a live stream. Yeah, it is on Twitch. Let me raise your volume so I can hear ya. There we go. Right now it's doing the half show for because for some reason Nintendo is like this soccer game needs a half show. This needs a half show. Yeah. Uh, well, Hallelujah. Man, this game is not fun. Young I'd... Gapington, is this an emulator? It is an emulator. Did you know emulations are illegal, young man? Well, psh, not not in America. It's totally. I'm just kidding. No, it's it it is illegal, but that's okay. It's really the problem is being the one who's um giving out the emulators. If you're using the emulators, you can't get in trouble. They're just trying to catch the people who are making them. So I can't get in trouble because I'm not making the emulation. I think mummy would be disappointed, Gabe. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, and then the the video that you made for Quiba is coming out this Sabado. It is. Yeah, and it's um gonna be on the four year anniversary of the channel. Oh wow. That's just that was totally a coincidence, and I didn't even realize that until like a couple days ago. I was like, wait a second, it's the four year anniversary. But yeah. Oh, oh that makes me special. It does. Man, this game is really easy. Maybe I should probably not play on the lowest difficulty. Oh, Gabe, you're going easy on yourself. Yeah. Right now it's America versus England. Oh, you did that on purpose. I actually that was totally a coincidence. I didn't. <laughs> I wish I did on. Per I wish I I had like the ability to plan ahead that far. But yeah, that would have been great. <laughs> Oh, I kicked it in the wrong direction. Okay. <laughs> I've never heard you speak like that. <laughs> yes. Grab the sucker ball. There we go. <sighs> yeah, and if, I don't know. Sports video games aren't really that fun to me. But I'll play them if I'm playing every Nintendo game. I can't skip any. 
That's what every game means. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I've, I've never understood. I've, I've never even played any sports games. I've never bothered. <laughs> I like I like the ones where there's like a weird twist on them, like Mario Strikers and stuff, or like Rocket League. But if it's just like FIFA, where it's like just soccer and that's it, I'm like I w I, I could play real soccer. Yeah, all the lads at school play FIFA often. I mean, I've never really understood why you would play FIFA. FIFA. Yeah. Over. Th oh, yeah. Football. Or there's, yeah, FIFA and Madden are the ones where I'm like, they they make them every year and they're the same game. And it's not like, oh man, they're the same game, like, haha, roasted. But it's like, they're so unbelievably similar that it's like, I don't get why people keep buying them. Yeah. <laughs> Never mind, I was going to say something really stupid. <laughs> nice. I'm ready to hear something stupid. Just kidding. Um, alright. Soccer video game. Oh, I keep pressing the wrong button to kick the ball. <laughs> soccer, soccer. Football. Soccer or football. Depending on what war what part of the world my one viewer is at, who's not leaving. I don't think there's actually a viewer. I think that's literally just me having it open in another tab, and it thinks that it's a viewer. So. No, I'm, I'm watching. Nice. Okay. Yeah, one view game. Yeah. I am. I'm Twitch. I'm I'm Twitch Star. Twitch. Twitch dot epic. No, I'm up there. You just didn't go far enough. Ah, I didn't. If you scroll down like um, 7,000 pages, then you'll eventually see my name. Oh boy. Alright. Uh, menu toggle. Let's close the content because that soccer game takes 10,000 years to play. So next game... It's going to be Mock Rider. This is an actual game. Oh, wow. And there was a time when people thought that the character from Mock Rider was going to be in Smash Bros. <laughs> really? Yeah, because there was this leak where this guy had a picture and it was called like the Grinch leak. And... Um, was it from Reddit? Yeah, that was a Reddit leak. That it, No, it was like... Do you know like the whole concept of like a perfect storm where like everything goes like a certain way where it's like, okay, there's no... like. I don't know, this leak was like the perfect storm of leaks because there was like, there was this whole thing with like, oh, Isaac from Golden Sun is going to be in the game and here's like, here's a picture of the banner with all the characters on it with Isaac as part of it. And, um, and then on the official Smash Bros website, there was a like glitch in the banner. And so exactly where Isaac was supposedly, supposedly going to be. That's where the glitch was. There was like a seam in the banner. So people were like, dude, they're they're going to edit it. And so everyone believed, I believed it. And I was like, dude. And then it was fake. And just, there was literally just a random glitch where this person, where in the banner, the character was going to be. And, but they had like a bunch of characters on it. Like, but yeah, they had Mock Rider as one of them. And it was like just weird enough where it was believable. So I was like, dude, this character is going to be in the game. But yeah. Yep, it was. Uh, that's probably good. They never heard about it because everyone thought that the very wow, I'm going really fast in this game, but uh, everyone believed it on the internet, and it was this thing where people would just always talk about it. They're like, "Dude, it's freaking this guy," and um, let me think. Uh, yeah, it was it was a big deal, and then when the final direct came out, everyone it's like, "Okay, we're gonna get." This is before Banjo Kazooie was actually confirmed, and the whole people even knew about the DLC fighters. Just everyone thought whoever the final characters in the last direct are going to be, that's it. No more new characters. And then when it was Ken and Incineroar, people were like, "What?" Because everyone was like, "It's it, it's going to be Banjo Kazooie, and then a character from Rhythm Heaven, and this and that, and like all these characters." And it was none of them. So it was like just this like thing where everyone was really sad, but 
it was like, dude, we already have so many characters. Don't worry about it, mates. But yeah. I actually really want to see um, the chorus kids. In me, me too. I, I just want to see any Rhythm Heaven character because I really like Rhythm Heaven. Yeah. Chorus kids or Karate Joe. But chorus kids would be more interesting because it would be another like Ice Climber kind of situation, but not really. It was an image. No, I, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hang on. Let me try to find it. Hang on. Oh my gosh, I am really bad at this game. Just like most old NES games, I'm really bad at. I mean, maybe if I like play only played them and nothing else for a million years, then I'd get good at them. What? what oh, never mind. Sorry, I thought that my computer was getting exploded but that was just my microphone uh but yeah what what okay i don't understand in this game there's like a weird rear view mirror and, there, and it shows people in them but it doesn't really make sense how it works because it's like you'll see a character on the left it's like okay so i have to get, get on this side of the road and then they'll just heat seeking missile crash into the back of you and it, i hate it it's real dumb Uh, Tom was calling me earlier, but then he had to go. So that's why I was like, please, I need someone to be in this stream bow with me. Oh, I just realized that this game, you can make it so you're faster or slower. Oh my gosh. I just... Okay, there we go. Wow, yeah, really desperate. That's why I went... That's why I was like... No, it's okay. Um, no... <laughs> I don't have anything else to say. So I, I just don't like streaming by myself because I don't have much to say. I have this whole thing where I'm like, when it comes to a Let's Plays, I like that. I feel like the perfect amount of people is three people. If you can get three people all together in a little call, then that's the best way to do it. Yeah. But, yeah. I, I, one time, one time, uh, you, you know the only plays boys? Yeah. Um, I, I didn't know he had his own streaming thing. Mm -hmm. um, I watched one, and it was so much quieter. Um, yeah. Yeah. I, I, I watched a couple of them. Yeah, no, I agree. It's like... But yeah. So I have qualified. <laughs> You're right. It's, it's too quiet with one person. Yeah. Within time three hundred. Nintendo has made so many racing games, like in the early days. There's a lot of racing games and a lot of ripoffs of other games that are already made. Because there was like a weird Pac Man ripoff and a Galaga ripoff. There was a lot of stuff. It's like totally against how they make games now. What's that Reddit leaker? Oh, oh, like... Verge Ben? Probably. But, um, <laughs> I don't even remember. But, um, gosh, he, he's actually been right about most. Yeah. Yeah, I, cause I remember when he, cause he had this whole thing. He was like, if you don't see Incineroar in a leak, that means it's fake. And then everyone was like, Psh, Incineroar, that's dumb. And then he was in the game. And he was like, oh shoot. And he actually said that. Um, I'm trying to think of like the. Oh yeah, Isabel was one where he he knew that and he was like, what the heck, or um. I'm trying to think of the weird characters that, like, nobody saw coming that he got right. But there were some characters that, like, nobody predicted. Like, Piranha Plant was one where just, like, they were really good at keeping that secret because nobody saw Piranha Plant coming. But, yeah. And then Joker from Persona 5 is another one where it was kept, like, they did a really good job at having it so people, it didn't get leaked out. Yeah, but I mean, like, Things like Banjo Kazooie, and a lot of people have been saying Gino. 
It's um. Uh, I think even the people. Working on it. I don't even know how things get leaked. I know obviously this is the boy who's working at Nintendo. Mm -hmm. You just tell someone. But I mean. There, there was this one. <laughs> uh, yeah, baby boy. Baby boy. There was this one leaker named Emily something. Obviously, it wasn't a real name, or else she would have gotten fire, but fired. But it's probably not even a girl. But she would leak not Smash Bros. characters, but like full games, like exactly what they were gonna work on. And it was like crazy how accurate she was, but she kind of stopped. So I think they figured her out, and she got fired. But it was like a, it was like this huge deal because she'd be like, "Oh, they're gonna make an open world Zelda game for the Wii U," and it was like, "What the heck?" And then they actually did, and it was like, "Oh, they're gonna make I don't know." It was this, like she always knew exactly what the game was gonna be. It's like, "Oh, a Link to the Past sequel where you can turn into a painting." It was like that's weird, like, but it was like obviously not a prediction because like so it's like she was leaking it. But that she was like the one where I was always like up to date with exactly what she had to say. But nowadays I don't read leakers because I don't like the spoilers. I mean But sometimes it's hard to avoid them. Yeah, of course. Cause band because specifically with the, this last direct, I was like, I'm not reading any leaks or anything. But every single like on YouTube all day long it was like Banjo Kazooie leak confirmed, blah blah blah. I'm like, dude, could you like not make that the title? That's why I like game explain how like they don't actually say what the leak is. They just kind of are like, hey, there is a leak. Click here to find out what it is. But there's so many people that are just like, just put Banjo Kazooie in the Smash Bros logo on the thumbnail, and it's like, okay, well, I already saw that now, and I can't take that back. But yeah. But the um the Verge Ben, the guy who knew about Banjo Kazooie and Incineroar and the. Um, Dragon Quest character um, he a long time ago before even like um, whatever Isabel and stuff were announced uh, he said that Steve from Minecraft was going to be in the game and that's literally the only character that he's ever gotten wrong and so I do wonder I'm like is he eventually going to get in but he, but he didn't say that the character was going to get in he's just said Minecraft representation of some sort so like, and so some people are thinking it's like, oh, it's probably just a spirit, but it wasn't that. So I'm like, and there's literally nothing. So I'm like, maybe, I don't know. We'll see. I really yeah. hope so. Yeah, I actually do hope so too, because I just like the idea of an indie game being in Smash Bros. And I'm like, the indie game of all indie games is Minecraft. So I'm like, you gotta, you gotta do it. It's, it'd be great. I'm, I'm not, uh, I feel like a lot of people might be saying that for the... Funny yeah. Uh, but I mean, uh, that, that's why I'm sad about Waluigi. He might have actually gotten smashed if people didn't keep memeing on him. Yeah. I, I know he was just made for tennis. <laughs> I, mean, yeah. I, I enjoy the character. I'm sad. But he's not a playable character. Ever since I was an even babier boy. Yeah. I would always play as him in Mario Kart. And beat Jake. <laughs> Waligi. Ooh! Okay. Playing Gumshoe right now. Yeah, I'm watching. Oh yeah, forgot about that. Gumshoe is pretty interesting. That it's like a platformer where you have to shoot the character to make him move. But hey, it's. Oh! I didn't know he was just. I thought it was gonna be Mario Fall where he kind of diagonally falls, but it's literally just like concrete shoes falls straight down. Yeah. yeah. Don't you hate it when? No, I mean obviously I don't play crappy flash games anymore. But I mean, obviously when I was like eight, I would search up Mario. Super Mario Flash. Yes, I would. Yeah, I would do that too. 
some of them were miserably bad though, so it was kind of like that. So I needed something to just drop straight down. Yeah, like the physics were all off, where it's like obviously yeah. someone just made this in um, Game Maker after two seconds. But yeah. He got bored, so he made a crappy flash screen. <laughs> yeah. Like, what's your daughter? I'm not your daughter. I, I like, I actually do like Duck Hunt and Smash Bros because it's like a representation of all the sh the NES shooter games. So it's like, I I I kind of like characters like that. Like that's why I'm like, I, it would be cool if there was some sort. I mean, like, even though I don't like the sports games that much, it's like you do have to admit that that's like a part of the NES's history. So like that would be cool if there was like NES sports character or something where it was like a little bit of everything and all the moves had to do with a different sport or something like that. Like, I like the weird characters that, like, like that that aren't, like, the Genos and the Banjo-Kazooies. Like, the, like that's why I'm, like, Prana Plant is actually cool because it's, like, it's a character. There's not really any characters that have the same move set, So it's, like, it's actually fun to play as. And it's, like, nobody sees it coming. It's just, it's just a fun little thing. But, yeah. Concrete shoot ball. Oh, yeah. Um. Yeah. For your next stream, play a Mario Flash game. Oh, I wish. <laughs> I, I feel like someone, somewhere, would enjoy watching that. Yeah. I used to play Super Smash Flash in school. Super Smash Flash? Yeah. Jesus, I've never heard of that. It's actually, it, it, it was funny because it's like, it's all these like crazy characters. Like, they would just throw in like every, every Sonic character and they would throw in um like goku and all these like in waluigi and all these characters that's like what the heck but it's like hey this is just some random kids kids making this game so it's like they can just do whatever they want but it was like fun and yeah i mean it was like as fun as a flash game can be but yeah super smash flashers actually don't I should probably not call it that <laughs> but yeah Oh, oh, that was oh okay. This game is actually pretty fun. I would hate to have to play this with an actual light gun. I mean, they d the light guns work, but like at least for me, they're a little awkward to use. So I'm like, I am glad that I'm able to do this with a keyboard and a mouse. I like guess just a mouse, but yeah. But this game does follow Nintendo's design philosophy, where you have like one one way to interact with the world and everything revolves around it because it's literally just shoot and everything revolves around just the shoot clear this phase in six hours Psh, i got six hours i'm just kidding it's like six fake video game hours whoa wait does this game have actual seconds because i was noticing that a lot of nes games don't do actual seconds it's like each countdown on the timer is like I don't know, it'll be like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's like really, really fast. But this one is actually like a decent speed. Oh, car. Car again. Let's go up here so I don't have to deal with the caros. Oof. I think he left. Oh, no, man, he's just mute. That's fine. Okay, it's probably my last round of this game because I'm getting a little bored of it. I'm not gonna lie. Ooh, I should probably shoot those. Ding, those are really hard to shoot with a trackpad. <laughs> I should probably use an actual mouse. Whatever. Ooh. In the car I made a little honky at the end. Wow, my computer's on fire. Okay, let's play a different game. 
let's toggle that no nope, let's toggle that menu and let's close that content and let's play what's next um volleyball okay volleyball Okay, that's the song that they always use. Ooh. One player woman, one player man. I want to do woman. Yeah. I'm now playing volleyball. Volleyball. Again. Girl. Dang, this game is really hard to control. <laughs> Okay, I'm ready, I'm ready. Oh my gosh. That's like way too fast. How do they expect anyone to ever do that? <laughs> There's gotta be something that I'm not understanding about this game. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> it's hard to tell who you're gonna control. That's why I don't like team games where you control the whole team with one character. I mean with one controller. Cause it's like, it's just weird. <clears throat> Okay, zero to seven, versus t USA versus T U N. I think that stands for Turkey Nuev Nu. I don't know what that end is. Oh my gosh, go easy, guys! It's too fast. Hold on, let's reset this. This got to be something that I'm like. Okay, let's go back, let's do the game, I don't need the training. This gotta be a way to like, are they in order of like difficulty? Let's be against pink. Okay. Okay, I get it. I get it now. Ooh. Ooh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That was weird. I didn't know what was going on. Okay, so B is jump. So you can, like, jump up and... Oh, no. No. Okay. Okay, I understand this game now. I don't need any instruction book. I don't need any enclosed instruction book to know how to get through the hotels. Okay. Whoa! A little too fast. This game is hard. What the heck? Dang it. Uh. Wow. How is this game so not easy? Gosh. Hold on. Tip it up. 
Okay, that's okay. Hold on. Let me pause this just for a second so I can try to get this sauce to stream. I want to vo voice in server for streambo. Okay, now I'm ready to play volleyball and not be good at it. Smack, smack. There we go. Oh, boo. Oh, there he is. <laughs> yes, I'm playing a really boring volleyball game. Why? Heck yeah. Why? Oh, because uh, it's stream, Nintendo games. Oh, you are? Yeah. Can I say the F word? No, I'm not, no. Uh, I think Tom already said the F word when he was, because he was in the voice earlier. Can you say the F word? The Fregly? Right. Right now I'm. Ooh, now that's Decorate now that's content. That's content. Crypt, crypt of the necro dancer. Except. I love how you named your recycle bin important videos folder. Oh, I'm glad that you caught that. I, I did. Hey, Gabe. Yeah. I figured out how to make a, a squeaky toy noise with uh, D guy's boy, er, oh. voice. How? Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's terrifying. Nobody wants to hear that. <laughs> that's good. <laughs> uh, that's it does good. Sound like one of those, like, yeah, like those like chicken ones. Yeah. I I was messing around. With, Boo. Ugh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I actually had a dream that you made a channel called like Quibo or something or it was like it was something where it was like it like spelled with a K or something like a bootleg Quiba channel where you did all the voices like that and it was <laughs> it was really funny. Boy, did you just, uh, finish streaming? No, I'm still streaming. Oh heck yes. Yeah. Crash Bandicoot racing. Racing with Crash Bandicoot. Crash team racing. Ra rash team crash. Rash Team Crash. Look, I'm Crash Bandicoot. <laughs> Famous ca Crash Bandicoot. Yeah. Oh, 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 thank you for putting poop in the chat. Oh, dude. <laughs> that is the one and only oh, chat I message. Look at that. Whoa, yeah. twice? That's how you make it funny. Whoa, Cole, calm down. That's a little too funny, dude. Me. I'm unpredictable. Yeah. Oh man. Uh, actually, Cole, I, I'm, I'm a little bit joking with this. Anytime you come on Cole, he like scream. Uh, no, you do, no, do you do the no. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> you just, do you do this in public? Uh, no. I try not to. <laughs> he has to actively like, tr like think about not doing it in order for it to happen though. That is really that hard. It's really saying. hard when I'm in school and say, <gasps> all right. I really want to say, oh, right. And it's like, they'll look at me like, why did you say all right in a funny voice? And I say, it's not funny. It's not even, it's serious. It's my religion. Yeah. Quibism. If you could convince your teacher that that's your religion, then they legally can't do anything about it because you can't discriminate because of a religion. So you're like, uh, all, yeah. I'll do a, um, what's, what's it called when, uh, People like sing through their throat, throat singing or whatever. I'll be like, <laughs> I mean, th this is not what you're talking about, but it kind of sounds like a didgeridoo. You can do it where we have a bunch of didgeridoo on the island. Yeah. Just in a short. And, uh, I'll do the voice, I'll go, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that would be horrible. That would be scary. Oh, God, I'm not wearing headphones. I'm wearing <laughs> headphones, but not at maximum volume. <clears throat> you guys probably hate me for not wearing headphones, because now it's echoing. Uh, I, I don't get an echo. I, I don't wear it. 
There, there's a yeah cole doesn't wear headphones either and also um most people don't wear head or i mean a lot of people that i call with there's a little bit of an echo so i think most people just sit in front of their computer oh i thought it wasn't following you on twitch <laughs> you'd, you've, you've already screamed enough, dude. Ah! Get it funny, <laughs> get it? Wee! Volleyball! <laughs> Remember, every time you play a video game and you beat the computer at their game, then that means that you beat a computer that's designed to do nothing but play that game, and you are better than that computer at it. Kinda reminds me of, um... In Donkey Kong 64, where there's that, like, you're a uh, Tiny Kong, and there's, like, a beetle, and it's like, I played this race thousands of times because I live here, or something like that, and you, it's like, mm. a really easy victory, and they're like, what? How did you beat me? Yeah. That's like in Pokemon, there's an NPC that says, I have a 999 winning streak. Let's, let's, let's go. And then you beat him, and he's like, gets, he's like, what? He starts freaking out, but it's like, it's funny. <laughs> yeah, he's like, dude, it's gonna, it's gonna take so long. I, I just wanted a thousand. Just, you should have just let me win, dude. I just needed one more, and you ruined it. And it's honestly, if I was that, if he told me that, I would have let him win. Yeah, yeah. If someone in real life told me that, I would have been like, oh, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll give you your thousand. I'll, I'd be honest. I'd be um honored to lose against you, and be your thousand thousandth victory. But then, no. Your character has yeah, to beat them. After and beat him. Yeah. It's funny how in Pokemon, if you lose, the character's are like, ha, oh, wow, you're terrible at this. <laughs> then in real life, it's like, dude, I'm just a little kid, and you're an adult, and you've been doing this your entire life, and I just started my file ten minutes ago. So just give me a break, dude. At least I got far. I, I, I just realized that all the players in the game are, like, humping the air. When they're not yeah, the I noticed that. So yeah. Um, what was I was gonna say. Uh, I don't know what you're gonna I, say. Yeah, sorry, Gabe. I, I guess. Uh, I was gonna mention something. I can't think of what I was gonna mention. Oh my gosh! I I just realized that I'm halfway through with a round of this game because each round is five of them, and I'm on the third. Oh my gosh! This is gonna take so long. I mean, like rotations where like you switch sides. Cause you have to get. Hey, Oh, I don't know. It's just Nintendo sports games are boring, except for the yeah. Mario ones where they throw in like a fun twist. But if it's just the sport, it's like, uh, man, nobody likes this. I I heard NES Open Tour, which is like one of the last NES games, uh, isn't that great. So watch out. Yeah, I, I can believe it. I'm I'm just excited. There's actually a Bomberman Wario, um, a crossover game. For the Game Boy that I'm excited to play, just because oh, it's gonna, like weird. Uh, here's here's the question of the day: Are you gonna be playing the uh, remakes of all the Game and Watch games because they're technically licensed by Nintendo? Yeah. Like, they're not. They're just remakes of like older stuff. Yeah, yeah. That, that that that's like pretty much the only exception, just because it can't emulate the original Game and Watch games. So I'm like, okay, I'm definitely gonna play those, just because I haven't played anything like it. But if it's something like, ooh the famicom version of super mario bros it's like it's way too similar to the original where i'm like okay yeah i'm not gonna do that but like uh so oh wait doki doki panic wasn't but it was by the team that made um mario but yeah. it was uh it was actually like um licensed by someone else uh, it was like a convention or something i forgot doki doki panic panic i actually planic? am yeah planic um, I actually am going to play that one just because I consider it, like, an important part of Nintendo history. So I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm going to play it just because of, like, the legacy. But games like it, I'm going to avoid. But, I mean, like, when I say games like it, I just mean, like, games where it's like, oh, there's one version for America and one for Japan. I'm like, yeah. Wait, are you going to play Mario's Game Gallery and, like, all the... Like, no. Mario typing games um i i might do teaches typing not like the gallery games because it's like they're way 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 too it's it's just the game but with more of them together I know, so I'm like it's, yeah it's kind of important it's the first time charles had a voice role of mario like ever 
Maybe I'll play it. If, if enough people convince me that... I mean, not that many people care about these streams, but if enough people convince me that it's like that's an important part of the history then i'll be like okay but yeah 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 it's actually i know i know sorry okay you know what i'm done i don't want to play this game anymore it's boring <laughs> you should play gimmick i should that's my favorite nintendo game okay let's play yeah. um I think re boy, wrestling, sure. pro wrestling. That is the last game that I have to play, and then I can just mess around, and there's no more games. Also, I'm really excited to play Nazo no Marisamoho from Japan, but yeah. but uh, that that that's a game that's really hard to get working on an emulator. I'm gonna keep trying to get it to work because I want to play it enough, What's but it, I don't know. It, I just just when it when I try to load it, there's just an error message. But I haven't actually looked into it that much because I was just like, whatever. I'm not playing it this stream anyway. But I'm. But next stream will be all Famicom Disk System games ex that are exclusive to the Disk System. So none of them are going to be translated. So that'll be fun. You're gonna play Zelda, which has like only Japanese specs. Yep. Uh, also, Misen is like my favorite emulator. So yeah. try that out and see if it works. I, I'm using Misen Mis through um, RetroArch. Oh. So, and, and it runs the same. It's just, there's like a layover from, it's because RetroArch is just an emulator where you can download other emulators on it. So yeah. Wait, Gabe, wow. what parts are you? I have literally, I was about to ask myself that same question because I cannot tell. I think I'm the pink guy. Oh, no, yes. I think I'm the white guy. I actually remembered all the names. Yes. Starman. Okay, 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 okay. I think I'm the white guy. No. I mean, in real life, I'm the white guy, but in this game, I don't know. Okay, I am the white guy. I am the white guy. I'm definitely the white guy. just want to mention how ugly the art is in this game. Like, this is some of the... Like, you can tell it was, like, a couple of artists, and some of them were a lot more talented than the others like the referees on the top look fine but like the characters are like slightly bigger look so so yeah. bad look at them yep oh man i didn't know if there's steam overlay for this emulator dude yeah, whatever. the rev show is playing terraria what wow dude we should pick it up with terraria oh yeah let's all play terraria together gabe i'm pretty sure you have terraria i do but i haven't played it that much we should all be characters from uh, the Cleaver Show. I'll be Gabe. I'll be Gabriel Adams. <laughs> okay. Generally, I like to call that one, but that's fine. You should be the remote control kid car guy. Remember from? The oh yeah, show? that's my favorite character. Yeah, dude, my favorite. This is probably like the one time that I used. <laughs> Wait, what? What did you say you were gonna be? I'm, I'm gonna be the. I'm gonna be uh Cleaver when he turns into the snowman and starts screaming. Oh yeah. Wait, Cole, you do it. You're better. So, what do you want me to do? Oh my gosh. Yeah, scream in the creep voice. Yeah! <laughs> yeah. How about you do it? I want to hear what Cleaver sounds like if he's, like, screaming. That's a good sentence. <laughs> it is a good sentence. I Dude, this game is... Scream. Gosh. And also, I don't like how there's a huge chunk of the screen dedicated to the words "go fight" and a guy walking around with a camera. But whatever. Uh, hey, Quiba or Gabe. Yeah. We should do. We should do. Uh, oh, what's it called? Um, the thing you studied in school and didn't help you at all about comedy. Um, uh, drama. Stand -up. Oh, stand -up. Stand -up. improv. I'll give, I'll give you a topic, and we'll all be characters. Uh, ice cream. Okay. Hello. I want two ice cream. I'm talking to the wrong person. I, I'm the guy in line. I'm waiting. There's a guy in front. Please. Yeah, I also have ice cream. <laughs> Nobody's working at the register. <laughs> 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 Where is the guy? It's just uh, it's just us three waiting for somebody, and like all all three of us. <laughs> I like that. All Free ice cream? What? What? Oh, free ice cream. <laughs> I wouldn't go near it. This is the worst. This is the worst improv. Yeah, 
Why were we all waiting for ice cream? <laughs> we just it's like okay all three of us go all three of us stand in line and there's no other there's nobody else here to play any roles so we're just all waiting i want blue i want funny i actually can't do any more funny voices or screams or anything i've been at a camp for four days and my throat's actually been i can't speak anymore gosh starman freaking sucks what are you talking about? Starman's the best. They should add Starman to Smash Bros. Could you imagine? People would be like, what is that? It's funny because it's not even the main character of this game. It's like just the first boss guy. It's like if they added like a Goomba or a Piranha Plant to Smash Bros. That would be yeah, crazy. Yeah, there was a guy on Facebook who said this was back in um, Brawl, or no no Smash Four when he said this. He was like, "Dude, I bet that Nintendo would literally add a piranha plant before they add Waluigi." And then like looking at it years later, I'm like, "Oh my gosh, this man is a prophet." The prophet. Yep. But yeah, it was pretty crazy that he said that without editing a comment. Okay. Well, let's Let's go to the back room, and I'm gonna remove your kidneys. No! <laughs> <laughs> I let- I do that. That's- I think this is- that's the reason why my brain had that idea of you doing a bootleg whatever Quibo, just because your version of D-Guy is like so funny to me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, just- I like the idea of D-Guy just kind of being like a scared person. He like doesn't really know what's going on. He's like, whoa! Yeah. Pass me the scissors, I'm gonna cut your hair. I'm gonna make you have hair. Yeah! Do not D guy. Oh! D. Oh! Do not D guy's original design had hair? Oh, yeah, I remember. He had like a squiggly. He had, no, he had three strands of hair on his head. Just like me in real life. Yeah, just like you in real life. Does this game ever end? Oh my gosh. I've, I, I, I feel like I've been doing the same thing for like three minutes and 49 seconds. Seeing them like awkwardly fight and then like get exhausted and just like breathe for like not even half a second. Yeah, this is this is Fat People Rescue. This is my favorite game. Fat Person Wait, Simulator. Did this come out before or after um Punch Out? After. What? Yeah. What? You can tell like this game is a little bit like Punch Out too, but I mean like wow. Yeah. Well, this came out before the NES version of Punch Out, but after the arcade version, with the okay. wireframe characters, ranked to number six. What a pity! Yeah, idiot. It's the idiot number six. I do like that Nintendo has some consistency because they, they, the like the way that the game over screens are are like pretty much the same throughout, and like the fonts and stuff are more or less the same. But yeah. And it, actually, it's weird because all the sports games use the, use the exact same menu music. You do? Yeah, it goes... And it does that little thing. Every single one. Yeah. Go on to the um, NES Switch... Li Whoa, I didn't know you could throw off the stage. Please get up. Okay. <laughs> He's dead. He just died. Dude, I guess we're just Tom. over here now. Wait, no, Tom. I, I actually just called Cole. Oh, you can walk down here. This is a, this is this is like a. Nah, yeah, I'm just gonna stay down here. Screw, screw. I'm gonna fight the camera guy. Oh, it forces you to go up. Never mind. Wait, Cole. Okay. Scream. You know what? I, I I like seeing the character off the off the thing. That's all I care about. I'm gonna close that content. Wee. That was pretty cool. Do you mind screaming? What? Do you mind screaming right now? I turned your thing on 200%. I'm... Scream. 